Um, Good evening, Chicago Tough Sports fans. It's Anthony Hitman back again tonight. What's going Friday. on, Hitman? What's up? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Um, tonight we are doing a, what would you call it, a reaction for the Bears? A Bears reaction video? Yeah, Bears reaction, maybe preview of the Vikings game. Yeah. Or the Vikings, the Vikings game coming up, but yeah, m- more of a reaction video. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully Scott could join us. I don't know where he's at, so I hope everything's good. But um, yeah, I will kick this off with my reaction for the Bears. Um, what the hell, man? <laughs> what the hell was that? Um, I don't know. I I'm not a Bears fan like that, like you are. But even for me, that was kind of a punch in the nuts. Even though they lost, the way they played against the Packers, they were supposed to pretty much get demolished by Green Bay. Mm-hmm. Correct? Yep. Um, again, they lost. They lost by, what, like 12 or 15 points? Mm-hmm. Something like that. But for a while, they kept up with Aaron Rodgers. And the whole time, I'm just thinking, why the hell couldn't they have been playing like this the entire season? Um, they would probably be in a different position than they're in now. I mean, would you agree? Um, you're not the only person that thought that. There were yeah. former players who who have television shows that, that thought the exact same thing. Like, how come they haven't been able to play like this all year long? So, yeah, yeah you're, you're not you're, you're not in the only person within that boat. I, I thought the, the exact same thing. Um, there were guys that made explosive plays, you know, you know, where the hell was, you know, Demir Bird was signed to be this speed guy and hasn't been used all year. And then all of a sudden there's, there's this fast guy, right. Yeah. And then you got, you know, Jaheim Grant, who Brian Pace traded for, you know, he's doing good things on special teams as well as in, within the offense, yeah. uh, you know, Speed kills, as I told you all, that within the in our in our text thread, but it, it's just it, it's just sad that um, that they haven't been able to put everything together, and and then in a second half they, they re- resorted back to being, you know, the four and nine football team that we watched all year long. Yeah, it's like they were, it was almost like they were like, wait a minute, we're not supposed to be playing this good. Let's suck ass again. Or it could be just the fact that, uh, you know, you know, um, the Packers head coach and Aaron Rodgers and the rest of the team were just kind of decided, like, oh, we're going to flip the switch now. We're going to be better than you. Okay. And, and that, that's kind of what happened. Um, it, you know what's funny is that I, I was thinking about this on the way home. With everything that's been going on within sports, particularly if, if with this, this topic, the NFL, it almost seems like it's, it's been two weeks since the Bears played the Packers. And, and that's just because, like, you, you know, every, like, it seemed like everybody is going into COVID protocol. And yeah. the, the Bears have, like, 12, 13 guys going into today on COVID protocol. And then two more guys got, got at it. I don't know if you heard about that. Uh, Duke Shelley um, and also Andy Dalton are in protocol. Yeah. So, so it, it's um, – I, I'm I'm a little concerned about since Andy Dalton, you know, is in protocol because if he, if Justin Fields is in close contact, then you know I'm knocking on wood. Hopefully tomorrow I don't hear or read that Justin Fields is in is in COVID protocol because that just that just wouldn't be be good. He better not because I'm considering starting him for fantasy this week. <laughs> um, <laughs> I I. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know about that because I mean, who's your other option? <laughs> because the Viking defense is is you know halfway decent, and the Bears have no tackles this week. I mean, besides you know Tevin Jenkins and Elijah Wilkinson, who just came off of COVID protocol. Um, I mean, the Vikings lead the league in sacks. So I mean, good luck with that, buddy. Good luck, right? good luck with that. Good luck with that. Um, but as far as the game is concerned, like, like I said, I mean, it's one of those where 
you know, it, it was a fun first half. Yeah. You know, you saw some good things. You saw the defense getting getting to Rodgers. Um, you saw the offense be able to move the ball a little bit, be able to run. And then that second half, you know, you, it, it, it's just the difference between coaching staff and, and a quarterback that's, you know, we talk a lot of shit about Aaron Rodgers, but that dude is a that dude's a great quarterback. That's why we talk shit about him. Right. And and we're jealous. Because we're jealous, absolutely. And you know, just to have that dude making plays the way he does, the 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 I don't want to say nonchalant way of he throws the football, but but just the way that he makes plays that just it seems effortlessly. Yeah. Um and and you know, it's it's you can you can see why that dude is going to be a Hall of Famer. You know, when it's, when it's all said and done. Let me ask you something, if, because you're you're a full fledged Bears fan. That's after you, good. after you got over, because I'm sure there was a lot of excitement in that first half for you. Um, did it get to a point where you kind of where you were kind of pissed off or mad? No. Say with the fact that. Why the hell haven't they been doing this all year? No, because I, I, it's it's interesting because I, I've been resigned to this fate about this Bears team for a while. Yeah, and and for me personally, it's just been kind of like um, now I just want to get to the off season. That that's 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 where the interesting stuff is going to happen, and that's a show for another day. But I I, I wasn't mad. I wasn't disappointed. You know, my thing with the Bears right now just. If you lose, you know, at least entertain me for three hours. <laughs> That's true. You know, you know, just 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 make it worth my time to sit down and, and watch watch you play. You know, see the development of Justin Fields, and we we'll go from there. That that that's where I'm at right now. Okay. Yeah, I I I, I told you once before, you know, that I stopped getting mad about you know sports games. You know, you know, professional sports. I stopped getting mad about. I, I left. No, the Cleveland game. The Cleveland game was was the, the one time this year where I was legit pissed off. Okay. And, but outside of that, you know, just entertain me for three hours, and we'll kind of go from there. But you know, I, I don't. Because yeah, we all said on our thread, like you know, the Bears could easily lose this game. It was fun the first half, but the Bears could easily lose the game, and they did. Because the Packers are just a better, better football team. What are, what do I want to ask? What are some? Do you have any higher expectations for them now? Is coming up against Minnesota after what they did to the Packers in the first? No, half? no, no. Um, the, the higher expectation that I have it just include individual guys. You know, being able to see Robert Quinn, prob- you know, break the all-time Bears record in sacks. Robert Quinn is at 14 right now. He only needs three, three and a half more to break the record. Okay. Seeing Justin Fields continue to improve. Um, seeing David Montgomery as well. Um, also, um, just seeing, you know, Roquan, you know, Roquan Smith play. Um, you know, but that that's all. Oh, and Tevin Jenkins and Larry Bourne. You know, it, making sure that you know, watching them so they can. Um, you know, see how they develop moving forward. But outside of that, I mean, that, that's, that's the expectations that I have. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't have too much to say on this topic tonight. It's just, like I said in the beginning, it's like, what the hell, man? I, I would have really enjoyed to see even part of what we saw on Sunday night. Just a little bit of that throughout. The, the season, you know. Um, I don't yeah. know. Man. It's, it, it, it was just weird. It's like it was a different team. We were offense, anyways, because the defense gave up a lot of points, of course. Uh, oh, I mean, so did the Packers, but it, yeah, it was it, it was just mind boggling to me. You know, you you struggle throughout the season up to that point, even against the shitty teams that you played, shittier teams that you played. But then you get to the team that's supposed to demolish you in their house, and you get into a shootout with them. It's that's why I'm kind of speechless about this past week. I, I don't think there's a need to be speechless because that's exactly what 
you know, th th this team is. This team is bad. Yeah. And, 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 you know, you could have them come out and play the first half that they did, but, you know, eventually the better team is going to win. And that and, and, and that's, that's exactly what happened. Okay. You know, you have better coaches, you have better players, you have the better quarterback. So that, 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 and that's in essence what happened. That team made adjustments. The Bears, Matt Nagy, they don't make adjustments. And yeah. that's why they gave up. Uh, 24 points in the second half, and they and they scored three. Is Nagy somewhat safe now Hell because no. of that game? Hell no, no. I mean, as far as like being fired, this you know, like now or towards yeah. the end of the year. Yeah, you know. I mean, as far as him being okay. Fired, what I should say, what I should ask, do you feel he he bought himself some more time? He was never going to get fired in, in season. Okay. He was never that, that the, the McCassies don't fire people in season. So, I mean, look, that just, no, it, it, it didn't buy him any more time. I mean, his time is up anyway. And he knows it the way that he was talking at, after the game. He knows that his time is up. I was reading something online today during my lunch and uh, it said something about George McCaskey trying to figure out where to start as far as getting things right, fixing, fixing up the team, cleaning house? Well, I mean, it, it all depends on, on where you want to start. I mean, yeah. the first thing that you would need to do is decide how you want to build your football operation. That's, that's in essence what you have to do. I mean, whether you want to, you know, reassign Ryan Pace or fire Ryan Pace or do whatever, um, that's in essence what you have, he has to figure out. Okay. The Matt Nagy thing, that's he, he's gone, but that they're still, for what I read, they're still trying to figure out what, what they want to do with Ryan Pace. Okay. Yeah. Well, like I said, I don't have much to say. So the floor is yours, unless this is no, pretty I, short, pretty I short mean, and sweet tonight. I mean, as far as like this Sunday's game, I have no expectations. On my Monday night's game, I had no expectations. Okay. You know, the only expectation I guess I do have is, you know, I, hopefully there's there's no more no no more of a COVID outbreak within the team. Yeah. Also, seeing improvement for for Justin Fields, I I do expect the Bears to get blown out, just because they don't you know the Bears secondary is depleted whether via injury or COVID. Yeah. So I mean that's kind of where we're at, and you know just hope Justin Fields doesn't get killed. <laughs> so I mean it's. <laughs> That that's that that's where we are. I mean, it's it's unfortunately it, with Bears fans, we just need to get to you know that first Monday in January where it's Black Monday, yeah. and you know that's when all the firings happened, and you know that we just kind of go from there. Okay. All right. Yeah. Short and sweet. I think that that about covers it for for tonight. Unless you had yeah. anything else, I don't want to no. cut you off or anything. No, that that I mean, everything needs to be going towards the off season at this point. I mean, really, what else can we say about this team for the regular yeah. season? You know, what I mean, they're bad, and hopefully, you know, hopefully the Bears lose thirty-one thirty, and you know, Justin Fields lights it up. You yeah, know, that's that's kind of where we're at. Okay, everything, everything is about QB one. Yes. All right, Hitman, uh, that'll do it. I am going to go watch AEW Rampage. You do that. So, all right. I will talk to you later. Cool. All right.